Hello guys, it's Pap from Pap back at it again and today we are here with uh, another video on the special dual series. So this time is, as you may have seen from the thumbnail, Magician Girl's turn with a uh, little combination with Fortune Fairies. So with uh, Thea Gardner, of course, why uh, did I bring uh, Magician Girls for this event? Because they are access to, um, to um, Kiwi Magician Girl is one of the best way to deal with all the back rows that we are seeing in this event and I had a lot of fun with this and you know guys I actually um, reached King of Games in this special event we did the deck that you saw yesterday with the uh, classic elemental heroes but I'm actually enjoying the event a little bit I like to play this event uh, with some other uh, decks so I'm actually bringing out more and more versions for these special duels hope you enjoy it and before jumping right into it guys just a quick reminder if you enjoy the content please leave a like and subscribe I really appreciate it and it really helps me a lot let's jump right into it so here we here with Thea the SLD with the recent buff buffled skill so magician girl so for all who do not know what it does pretty easy mm, every magician girl on your field gets a 300 boost for every magician girl that you control so it can go uh, uh, up to 900 if you control three magician girls and it's 900 for each pretty cool so of course talking about magician girl we've got one of each the dark one the chocolate the berry the apple the kiwi and the lemon all of them except for the tune um and look at this then we got the fortune fairy why i got the fortune fairy and only two these two ones uh, the first one, uh, uh, the Fortune Fairy, and is pretty cool because when you draw it, it's basically a free pop of one of your back rows, and you're nearly not gonna face an opponent without back rows, so this is gonna be pretty useful. You can also use the effect of Fairy, and if you draw into her um, after the effect of Chocolate Magician Girl. And then we've got Ikari as well. Why Ikari? Because Ikari on Summon can send, up, can send herself to the grave or any other effect monster, Two, special summon a level 1 spellcaster from your deck and this can be a pretty fast way to have access to your berry, you know berry is um, a little bit the engine of the deck because berry on summon can search for the magician girl and when it's targeted for an attack or for an effect or by an effect it can just uh, bring out a magician girl from your deck so that's why you want to have a berry on the field the soonest as possible. The sooner possible so uh, moving on we've got basically a tons of traps um, uh, the staples one of course but uh, you have to put in basically um, they're needed a super team body for tonight that is the coolest the coolest way to summon your kiwi once that you add her to your hand with the effect of berry and the necrofusion that is your secret weapon to go into your quinton magician um, or into actually your dark magician or the dragon Night because we play Keeper of a Dragon Magic, there you go, um, that can look for your Magicalized Fusion, but keep in mind that with your Magicalized Fusion you can only go into your Quintet because Magicalized Fusion summons only Spellcaster type Fusion and my Dark Magician God the Dragonite is a Dragon type monster. Don't forget that. Then we've got a, a bunch of uh, rank 4 and rank 1, only 1, rank 1 XCs. Just in case we manage to have both the uh, Chocolate and the Keeper of Dragon Magic, but nothing special, I guess. And so, not really that much needed, so keep in mind that. And then, the rest of the deck. Actually, the other 6, 7 cards, it's just the best traps you can have alongside the other semi-limited card, enemy controller. You know, just in case with the... Because thanks to Fortune Fairies and to Magician Girls, you have a lot of monsters on the field. And you can go with that spicy play, you know, cheese play. Uh, remembering Guns Blazing. Uh, cheese play with enemy controller, taking control of your opponent monster and go for a lethal. So guys, that was all for the explanation and we can jump right into the replays. Here we go, first replay against uh, Yugi Muro. Let's see what we got. So... Um, we can start with the chocolate, so unfortunately we already have Fortune Fairy Hand in our hand, so we can just discard it to draw one extra card. We have a Karma Cut, uh, and it begins with Neos Fusion. This is a Harpy deck with Neos Fusion, 
and then he, of course he couldn't attack because of the effect of uh, Chocolate Magician Girl because as you know the Fortune Fairy are, uh, Fortune Fairies are spell casters as well so they are a cool target for your Magician Girl's effect uh, and in the end phase he gets the effect of Harpy Harpies to look for Harpy Oracle from, your, from his deck so pretty cool draw right here Berry to look for the Kiwi and we're chilling then Chocolate to draw an extra card and then Canadia to uh, just flip down my berry but effective berry activates in response bringing out my dark magician girl so we got um, we are pretty stuck on monsters we've got the boost in our hand so he summoned the mm, happy channeler I tried to come card, but he had the forbidden lands so he, the his effect goes through and uh, he summoned the RP Perfuma, uh, adding the Epis Feather Rest, so the Synchro Summon, the effect of RP Feather Rest, so, uh, but he decided not to jump any monster because he was actually smart because he did not need to, to jump anything otherwise I would be, I would have a free slot to use any of my Magician Girl's effect or he could just, you know, uh, make the chocolate come back to hand, but it's better to get rid of that and boom there you go But he forgot I had it kiwi maybe so kiwi to protect myself and I'm pretty chilling and yet face Oracle recycling the hapris feather rest, but I'm a pretty good I'm in a pretty good spot and this was the perfect pick to draw to summon the kiwi back again on the field so uh, Goblinberg summoning the using its effect is put on the channel here and then malevolent scenes famon so toggle on and i decided actually not to uh, use this and you will see in a moment why because um so rp's fed rest here to draw an extra card then he attacks why because i actually uh, wanted to use my drowning mirror foes so that was the reason um, and now because I knew that malevolent scene only got rid of the chocolate for one turn uh, I was chilling because next turn I could have used my silver body to force unite but my chocolate was enough for lethal so I just went in book of moon chaining the silver body team force unite using the Kamagat but this time Kamagat is useless but it was a pretty good move because he wanted to activate um, Canadia so so, and I lose my super body because I actually lost my uh, my chocolate. My, I, I lost my target. So happy perfumer uh, to add the elegant tigotis. Look at this elegant tigotis to summon the happy lady. But on summon necrofusion, banishing five different spellcasters to go for the ultimate move. Quinton magician, he's here and he's top tier. There you go. Getting rid of everything except Canada because he's unaffected by Moss's effect. Then just swinging in until he realizes he has lost. He tried to do something with the Keeper of Dragon Magic, but there's not really any point to do this. Um, he has any defense against the next attack. So there you go, Quinton Magician for the win. Here we go, Tea against Tea, and he's got five wins, uh, five wins, five win streak actually. Um, so let's see, it is a, uh, let me see, he has Holy Guard, so I'm expecting maybe Amazons or Gladiator Beast, so I started with my birdie, perfect beginning, and adding my Kiwi, I have my Drowning and my Enemy Controller, so Typhoon to get rid of the, actually the best card I had, so just another set card, and a Super Team Body, the perfect pick as, um, as always, then Apple to do even more damage the Canadia just to reduce my damage the damage that I can inflict him and uh, Gladiator Beast it turns out it is Gladiator Beast so enemy controller to avoid him attacking and getting rid of my apple but most of all because I didn't want him to use the effect of Gladiator Beast because Gladiator Beast when they attack at the end of the battle phase they can come back into the deck and summon another Gladiator Beast from your deck as well so Perfect draw, Fortune Fairy N, as I explained you um, uh, during the decklist breakdown. So Fortune Fairy N can target uh, that, and unfortunately, the the unfortunately the deck is the the um, 
the board is full, so I couldn't use the effect of bearing response, but we're chilling. Happily is here, then tributing the fairy end because it's useless after its effect to summon the kiwi, and we can just swing in with mirror wall. But he actually uh, w was not enough because uh, even if my even if my kiwi got destroyed, I could use the super body team for Unite to summon her again and dealing more damage and actually. Uh, letting him have not letting him have not enough uh, life points to pay for a mirror wall in next turn, and then he just surrendered. There you go. So here we go against Tristan Taylor and his red eyes deck. I've seen actually some red eyes deck on um, on the ladder, so they're pretty cool because basically this guy is like a weaker dark cavalry, so he can negate stuff that targets. Um, so it can be pretty useful in this meta, full of traps, especially these special duels. So uh, I just began with three traps and the best one, the drowning. So we're chilling. A Blackstone of Legend to summon out the baby, then swinging in with the slash. But goodbye, my dear. See you next time with the drowning. Uh, we're basically chilling. Then Keeper of Dragon Magic, not using the effect, floodgated. Mm, it's not that much of a deal. Then Blackstone of Legend recycling itself. So Blackstone can uh, has two effects that basically recycle everything, and you can activate um, uh, every effect once per turn. So it's pretty cool. Then look at this enemy controller to get this because this thing is annoying. When it gets destroyed, he gets to summon a level seven or lower dice monster from the deck. I didn't want this to happen, so I take control of it and then tribute him so without destroying to summon the Kiwi, and I was chilling. But unfortunately, he's got the black metal dragon that let him ha let let him hurt the red dice inside. So now with insight, he can hurt a, um, uh, a spell card or a trap card from his the deck to his hand. So he decided to go for the red on red dice. Then again, the stone to summon this little guy that was pretty annoying, but. Fortunately, we've got the Floodgate. He's not done yet. Nia's fusion to go in and get rid of my Kiwi, unfortunately. So I couldn't. I, there was no point in using my Regeki Break. He just would have protected himself with the Nia's fusion from the grave. Uh, that's why I didn't use it. And but we are chilling because we got the berry, berry adding the dark magician girl. So uh, we still have another um, trap card. So we are pretty, you know, stuck. We. Uh, we are chilling, we are safe. Uh, again, Blackstone that keeps on doing his thing every turn. He attacks into the berry, berry bringing out the chocolate. Uh, he continues the attack, but Canadia first. And then I could just, you know, use the, the Rogiki Break on the set one, but I decided not to because I wanted to do this. Uh, tribute summon Dark Magician Girl. I didn't summon the card. There was no point. I decided to take my, to have my card in hand just in case um, I need something to discard from my Gagi Break. Keep in mind that. So I started swinging in both with my, uh, to the on the Nia's Fusion to get rid of it and Miracle Contact. So he's not done yet. He's got the Nia's Knight. Part of Guardians. Goodbye, my dear. Regeki Break comes in handy. To get rid of that, he's not on Blackstone once again. Oh my lordy, when this duel will hand, who knows? We've got actually, we are pretty stuck in uh, in monsters, but I decided just to attack because I was afraid of the trap card. But it turns out that I won for time limit. But I don't think he had more um, resources into this deck, only five cards, and all the big boss were already gone. So there you go. Lash the banal leash, interrupting a four win streak uh, against May Valentine. I'm expecting, of course, there you go. Harpies hunting around, harpies are here. So we got the Keeper of Dragon Magic and discarding on the useless fairy hand to have the magicalized fusion. No back cross because there is no point actually right here. So he started with this Harpy Queen and nothing else, luckily for us. So, the perfect pick, Barry, and start looking for stuff. Kiwi is here, we got the Super Battle Team Force Unite ready in our um, the set, uh, Spell and Trap zones. Then Glyph, to get rid of the Necrofusion, it's fine. Harpy's Antigram again, Swallow Nest. And now I made a mistake, because once you activate Swallow Nest, I should have activate the Super Battle Team Force Unite in response. Because then it would have been forced to target its own Harpy's Hunting Ground again. So keep in mind that, guys, don't make my mistakes. 
So hard people film is effect, but then look at this. I decided to use the effect of Kiwi, discard it, then use the effect of, Su of Super Team Body Force Unite because Super Team Body Force Unite can summon a monster from your hand or from your graveyard. And making it this way, your Kiwi, when, when it summon it, actually get the boost of, um, that that hair actually provided so she gets her own boost uh, look at this so my kiwi actually is 3k attack so uh Ilya Antigo this she is not done yet with all this stuff RP something run getting rid of of itself and then server slash RP lady but he cannot attack the berry because berry will activate its effect and he cannot use the effect because my uh, my guys are un my girls are untargetable as long as my kiwi magician girl is on the field so summoning the lemon just to have enough attack to get rid of anything and i'm sure that this is a trap card that actually target and so he can't do anything and that's how you do it kiwi is what you need to take care of this back row meta so guys that was all for the explanation uh, and for the duels in the commentary um, i hope you enjoy it so feel free to ask me whatever you want in the comment section down below uh, thanks a lot for watching and as always see you in the next one mm -hmm.